What's going on everyone? My name is Burke, Coach Newland Patrick's bringing the semi-final battle against Blaze and the New Orleans Pidgeys. So this is the first playoff battle, and unfortunately it is a post-com. I really, really messed up during the recording. Like, I, my face cam didn't record, and then other things didn't record properly, and... This is a good battle, and I really wish I had the live comp, but, you know, whatever. I'm gonna do post -com. I didn't feel like trying to piece together what I actually had recorded and do something with that. You know, like, I have, I have the actual recording of the battle itself, but with no sound, and I'm not gonna, like, post -com the live... Nah, I was just gonna... Eh, we'll do this. We'll see how this works. But anyway, my team, if you watch my team builder, is... I have a especially offensive Thunder Asterion, you know, life orb, hit things hard. Uh, I have a an N expert belt Gengar, as well as a physically defensive uh, Metagross, and a mixed defense Megalodino, Choice Scarf Crocodile, and the, uh, the Blastoise physically defensive. I think physically defensive. it is physically defensive. I was for, for some reason I forget what my Blastoise set was. It was supposed to take hits from the Arcanine. So, uh, his team, he's bringing Arcanine, Terrakion, Dusclops, Mega Venusaur, Staraptor, and Zoroark. So, looking at the team, uh, if you watch my team builder, and my, or my team analysis, I keep on a team builder, but I'm not building the team on it, and it's a team analysis, because I'm, yeah, whatever. I, I was expecting, like, new and Vaporeon, which were gonna give me some troubles, but, you know, he doesn't have them, so that's fine. He brought, brings the Dusclops, which, to be honest, I don't even really like Dusclops. I think it's one of the, meh, Eviolet Evi users. But he, he brings the Arcanine, he brings the Terrakion, he brings the Mega Venusaur. I thought the Staraptor was probably going to come, but I, I was thinking he might also bring the Alakazam, because that's just fast and things, you know. Uh, and it outspeeds my entire team, naturally, except for the Excelgore and so on and so forth. But he got the Zork, so I'm going to have to watch out for mind games with that. He has Terrakion, which just... The thing with Terrakion, it's very threatening, but it's not threatening to the team I brought, because I I looked at it and I'm like, okay, he could be he could be Scarfed, but I'm thinking the Straptor's probably Scarfed. He could be Bandit, uh, which I don't care if he's Bandit, he's going to have to lock himself into a move, and then I can easily switch around. Plus, Metagross and Mega didn't take hits. Uh, he could be a setup, but I don't care about setup, because, yeah, I might have to sack something off, but I immediately threaten out with, like, three things. So I was like, whatever. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of things I can take hits and make sure that they, uh, I can deal with it well. I think I built a, a team that can deal with Terrakion well. Mega Venusaur is just a Mega Venusaur. It's always going to be a problem for me to take down. Uh, I, and you saw in the team builder, I, I don't have anything, like, super dedicated to taking it down, which you might set, uh, say is, like, eh, that's kind of stupid, but if it's fully physically defensive or fully specially defensive, which I'm expecting, I'm expecting to be a de defensive set. He needs probably a specially defensive set to deal with Thunders or the, the Dust Cops is going to be specially defensive to deal with Thunders. He needs one of those things. Uh, and so if he's defensive, he's not going to be able to do much damage to a lot of my things. And if he's got like Sludge Bomb and Giga Drain, which he kind of needs both of those, uh, especially the, the Sludge Bomb to deal with Megadino, the Giga Drain to deal with Blastoise, you know, he needs those moves, or he needs Sleep Pat, like, there's so many moves he needs to run on this, that, basically, I'm thinking Metagross, looking at the team, I'm like, if he, he might pack Knock Off, he might pack Earthquake, but if he packs either one of them, then he might not be bringing Sleep Powder, he might not be bringing the Giga, like, there's a lot of things. So, something on my team, something, will be able to wall it to hell and back. Something. Don't know what, and I'm gonna have to scout for its moveset, but he won't be able to deal with something on my team. And... For me, like, looking at it directly, I think it's going to be the uh, the Metagross that he's not going to be able to deal with, with the Mega Venusaur, because Earthquake and Aquapper are still not going to do that much, that much damage. I did the count, so, yeah. But, looking at his team, I don't know what his lead's going to be. His lead, I could see it'd be Stealth Rock Terrakion, maybe, but I don't really see that happening. Uh, he could lead with Staraptor. It could be Choice Scarf to get the U-turn off, get the initiative. Or he could be leading with Zoroark. I see those as three most probable leads. He could lead the Mega Venusaur just to get the Mega off, but I kind of doubt it. Uh, because Mega Venusaur is not one of those things that's hard to get the Mega off. And uh, so, one of those things he, he, I think he's going to be leading with. So, I looked at my team and I said, I don't have a dedicated lead. I want to get a Prox early because his only defogger is a Staraptor, but who knows? You know, he if he leads with Zoroark, which, is, you know... I'm looking at it, I'm like, he might leave with that just to try to disguise it as something, but uh, if he loses with Zoroark, then, uh, and I start with Metagross to try to set Brox, and I'm going to lose my Metagross, and I do not want to lose Metagross. It is 
uh, my switch into Staraptor, and if I lose my switch into Staraptor, I'm basically screwed. So I'm gonna lead. I decided I'm gonna lead with Thunderous. It can take a lot of hits uh, from the things that outspeed it, except for maybe like a Choice Scarf. It can't take a Choice Scarf Staraptor, or it can't take a uh, like a Choice Banded Terrakion or Choice Scarf Terrakion Stone Edge. But you know, like I'm not really expecting. I'm, I'm more expecting him to lead with this Raptor, and if he wants to go for U-turn, then I can get a Volt Switch up. But I was thinking, if he leaves with Sun Slower, I can Volt Switch. If he leaves with anything else, I can switch out and start with going to something else and dedicate a counter to them. So I'm going to lead with my Thunderous, and he leads with his Mega Venusaur. So I'm thinking, there's no way he's leading with his Mega Venusaur. It, it, it's probably his work. And I did the calc, and I'm like, if it's Timid Specs, which he wouldn't run Modest, because then he would not speed Thunderous. Uh, if he's Timid Specs, then that does 88% maximum. So I'm like, I can get the hit off, and I do 92% minimum to his Roar. So, he does... First, he, he does the damage, he gets a crit, and then a flinch. Uh, so I have to switch out. And that crit tells me that he is not... Uh, he's not Choice Specs. He's not Life Orb either. So... Fortunately, I predict the lead right, and then he crit flinches me the first turn. I go to my Mega Dina. I know I can take a, uh, one of those things that are hard to hit, the hard hitting, the dark pulses. There we go. And I, I'm going to go to Wish Off, and I'm going to go into my Blastoise. Now, the reason I went into my Blastoise, is, and you see he goes for the Sludge Bomb, the reason I went into my Blastoise is because he might go for the Giga Drain, he might not. I have the Mirror Coat, and Blastoise is my most expendable sleep fodder. It's only really there to take a hit from the Arcanine, so I'm like, if he puts the Blastoise to sleep, that's fine. I can use it for Sleep Fodder. And he decides to go for the Sludge Bomb. It deals an okay amount of damage. From that, I found out that it is indeed a defensive set, not phys uh, offensive set. And I decided to go to Mirror Coat. Maybe he goes for the Giga Drain, but he goes for the Toxic. So, okay, he's Sludge Bomb Toxic. He does not have Sleep Powder. Don't need to worry about Sleep Fodder. And I'm going to switch out of my Metagross because... So far, Sludge Bomb Toxic, he might have the Earthquake or the Knockoff, but it's not going to do that much damage. He switches out, telling me that he probably doesn't have it, and at this point, I'm going to set up my Rocks, because the Rocks are really important, and if the Staraptor is not a Defog, then they're there to stay. And I get to switch out of my Blastoise, it's the dedicated lead, and he goes for the Bulldoze, and I'm thinking, okay, this is odd, he could be Scarfed, I haven't seen anything, I don't really know why he'd go for the Bulldoze, but whatever. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to go for the Skull, and I'm like, can I get a burn? Can I get a burn? And I get a crit, but no burn, so... Eh. Mega Venusaur is annoying. I have to deal with. But he makes a double out into his Dusclops as I switch out into, I think, my Metagross. Because at this point, I'm thinking Metagross is my dedicated switch in to uh, Mega Venusaur. And I know he's going to go for Willow, but the thing is, I've got Heal Bell on my Mega Audino, and I can easily get her off. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch directly into my Mega Audino and get off that heal bell because there's nothing you can do to stop me. And he burns my Mega Audino. I'm just like, whatever. Yeah, the Mega Audino's role this week was to heal bell and possibly get witches into things. So I'm going to heal bell it up and he switches into Mega Venusaur. So again, my assumption doesn't have anything to hit Metagross and Earthquake or Knockoff from a uh, defensive set is going to do about 25% maximum. So I'm like, no problem. I'm going to fire off a Meteor Mash because I'm expecting him to switch. I didn't really know into what, but he goes down to his Staraptor, and that does a clean 56%. I see no Leftovers, I see no Intimidate, so I'm expecting it to be like a Scarf set. He just goes straight for the final Gambit. He does not have a switch, switch him back into it, so he's just going to try to do as much damage as he can, and that does 18%, so I have no problem with that. Now he just goes straight into the Zork, so I'm like, alright, cool. I'm going to switch into my Mega Audino as he U-turns. Mega Audino, just kind of switch into the Zork, you know take the hits if need be. I can do a lot of damage. And at this point, so he takes me out from the close combat. You might be thinking that's kind of a weird move just to leave my Mega Audino in for a close combat. Well, I did the calcs. On my spread, uh, Choice Scarf, Terrakion will not kill me. Choice Banded, Terrakion will kill me. Uh, Life Orb Terrakion has about a 6% chance to kill me from this amount of health. So, if he doesn't kill me, then I, and I don't see anything, I'm going to assume Scarf. Maybe. He could be like the Swords Dance set, but you know, I don't see anything. So he could be Scarf. If I see Life Orb damage, then he's Life Orb, and I've got a very safe switch in, into uh, Crocodile. And if he takes me out clean with no item, 
that I see, then it is 110% bandit. And he takes me out clean, and I'm like, well, this is 110% bandit. But he also doesn't have Staraptor anymore, which meant he doesn't have a switch in for uh, Earthquake, but I decided to go into my Gengar. That's right, I decided to go into my Gengar, because this is the best way to take down my Green Storm in case he switches in. And I go for the Sludge Bomb, expecting him to switch out, because he can't touch me. Uh, and I go for the Sludge Bomb, because I knew he was banded. Take out the Mega Venusaur, we're good here. Now he switches in the Tracheon. I'm expecting to be the Zoroark, and I'm going to switch out into my Crocodile, expecting the Dark Pulse. There's no way he's going for fighting and move anything, because he can't take that risk. And I'm now I just Earthquake. Earthquake the, earthquake the World. He doesn't have a switch in. He, everything gets two code, so Crocodile is just going to do its thing. He frisked my Choice Scarf, but at that point you should know I'm Choice Scarf because I outsped. And he goes out into his Dusclops. Uh, Willows, it misses, but oh well. I didn't really care about the burn on the uh, Blastoise. So I'm going to go with the Skull, then I'm just going to gauge how much damage it does. That tells me it's pretty specially defensive, because I would have done about like 15-16%. Uh, and he goes for Pain Split, and now here I'm just like, well, Thunderous is at a very low amount of HP. Let's see if I can switch it into a Pain Split and get some health back. But he Willows and misses, so I'm like, dang. That prediction didn't work. But then he Shadow Sneaks, and then he crits Thunderous. So Thunderous takes two crits and goes down. Uh, without getting off any hits this match. So, Thunderous, you let me down. But I, it doesn't matter, I can just go into Crook and now just kind of spam Earthquake. It outspeeds his entire team. It outspeeds his entire team. And I know there's this fourth uh, fourth Mon right here uh, where it says Venusaur, but that was the Zoroark, which I already killed. I don't know, it just glitches with Zoroark. Alright, but he makes a double out into his Terrakion as I go into my Blastoise. And I'm like, can I take, I didn't really calculate, I'm just like, can I take a close combat? And it turns out I can take a close combat, and I just clean take out Terrakion. I didn't calculate because I didn't need to. I was just stacking off Blastoise, uh, I didn't need to do anything special with it. He goes back out into his Arcanine, the last thing on his team, and he Flare Blitzes. So I'm like, well I can go into Crocodile, and if he's Choice Scarfed into Flare Blitz, ah, oh, he's got leftovers, never mind. I just go into Crocodile and uh, click EQ. Uh, and that is going to be the semi-final battle against Blaze and the New Orleans Pidgeys. So that was a very good game. Um, I wish I had it live com because it was a really good battle. I was so mad <laughs> when Thunderous took a crit flinch the first turn. I'm just like, this battle isn't going my way, turn one. And I'd want a Thunderous to do more, more work than that, but, you know, it happens. And Crocodile just beast and through his team, because he just did not, not really have a switch in for Crocodile, um, no, no, uh, Vaporeon, no, no nothing, so, Crocodile is just able to do its thing, same with Gengar, he just, I had such a good team matchup, and he played really well, so it was a really good game, Blaze, um, and we are going to be moving on to the finals against Cornet and the Death Star, we did play him last, uh, last time, we did play him this season, and we did win, but I'm not taking that for granted and saying I'm going to win this time, he, it's going to be a tough battle. I don't, it was really hard to beat him last time because Mega Tristar X is scary AF. So, um, yeah, we're going to be playing him. Hopefully, we can win our second season in a row. And if I can, then that's great. But I made it to another final in a row. So, there's that. And this team has just been amazing for me. And uh, I'm going to stop rambling. <laughs> because I ramble on always at the end of my videos, and then I ramble about rambling. So that's all I got for today. My name is Bert, coach of Nunga Patrats. I'll see you all next time.